The Days Inn in East Toledo is no more. After years of complaints of drug abuse and crime, the property under new management and a new name. Michael Sandler got an inside look at the property now. Michael, this is down the street from Hollywood Casino. This could be a game changer for the area. What do you think? Yeah, Dan, I definitely think so. Um, from what we can tell, guests are definitely going to want to come back because this has been off to a very strong start so far. Now, while it's still going to be some time before all 200 rooms are open to the public, the managers say they want to be better, and the community is already taking notice. The Miami Suites Hotel has a difficult legacy to shake off. A little more than a year ago, the former Days Inn was a well-known nuisance property. We've seen multiple drug deals here. Uh, we hear gunshots. Um, we actually had a lady, actually two kids running through the yard, one chasing after the other one with a knife a few years ago. Except new owner Patsy Mahadio is up to the challenge. Since buying the property, she says she's already spent $700,000 for renovations, turning rooms that once looked like this into this. Well, Mahadio didn't want to go on camera, her realtor, Jazdeep Sohi, assures that Mahadio has the right vision. Oh my God, I, I would say it's day and night difference and even the guests can uh, commend her on her, uh, you know, perseverance and uh, all the hard work that she has put in. And the evidence is there. Smoke scented carpets have been replaced by modern flooring. Bathrooms have been updated and retiled. And documents show the property has no fire code violations for the first time in years. Additionally, the hotel now requires a $100 deposit before any guests can stay so they can maintain a different kind of clientele. And I'm sure that uh, guests not having to deal with drug addicts and other <coughs> kind of issues that previous ownership had in the past, I think it is, uh, you know, she's going to, you know, on her way to create a great success story. But there's still more work to be done. Only 35 of the property's 200 rooms are ready for guests. The pool remains locked up for the time being. And Mahadio says they're still courting franchises to take over the restaurant inside. But the momentum is there. And a year removed, the neighbors can already see the change. It's nice to kind of get a little bit back to how it was, you know, 15 years ago when I moved in here 16 years ago with just a nice quiet neighborhood and not a crazy hotel with a bunch of overdoses and, you know, drug stuff and gang related stuff around here. Mahadio tells me that the entire project will likely be done by the end of the year, saying that once that happens, they'll have a grand reopening to celebrate that accomplishment. And she tells me that right now the most challenging part of getting it finished is finding a restaurant. She says once they do, they'll offer them free, uh, free uh, rent here for the entire rest of the year. Reporting in East Toledo, Michael Sandler, WTOL 11.